We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a divine dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a divine dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so... I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one, but don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings. Just as you asked. And then... I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are. Safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm? A piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground, in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait! It's familiar somehow, even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firne. Yes. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. <laughs> but... Please... You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest.
You know... You see... Distracting me. Oops. Sorry, sorry. See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a... fan club? Yep. Our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh. Thanks for cheering me on. But could you maybe not do it so close? You bet. I can stand back a little. If I may...
Here we are, the Kingdom of Firene. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see... Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, uh, Land of Plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm the Kingdom of Freedom and Brodia the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firene. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elusia to expand his own territory. I take it Elusia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elusians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted. They're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saline. I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with Her Highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's.
Sigurd. I am ready. Alfred! Saline? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusian army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're... awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The Emblem Ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... They're coming to me. Care for us, Emblem of Echoes. I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Celine. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. What's next? What's that? The monsters here? Gosh all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. I'm ready. Emblem Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. You called?
Yeah. I am ready to serve. I'm ready for more. I'm listening. Understood. I'll do my best. We fight for peace. As your steward. Where to? Whatever you say.
<laughs> These houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old-fashioned village pillage. It's the crystal. It's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Letho's castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. Some help. Ah. This is nothing. Here. That was good training. As your steward.
I still stand. That's sufficient. Beautiful while you lasted. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted!
I'm getting hungry. I can keep going. to see you're all right. You too, Princess Selene. I was able to find Alfred and the Divine Dragon, no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my ring. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Don't worry, I'm fine. Your strength. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way.
<laughs> What's next? Let me help! I might be your newest fan! Thank you for warning me. Here. Use this to bring peace to our land. For the Divine Dragon! My muscles are yours! Lend me your strength. I am pitiful. Is it my turn?
Onward. I'm still quite capable. Yes. My resolve is unchanged. Louis, thank goodness! Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem... different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Divine One.
power blooms in me. Hold steady. Here goes. Yes, here. right at me. Foes are strong. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Pyrene.
Engage. If this love is a crime,
would have won, you know. If they'd given me real soldiers. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled, I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? She's gone. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid. And your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honored. Yes. Ah. Wow. Oh my! Ah. Uh. Hmm. Um. Thank 
you so much. Yes. Thank you. Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um. <clears throat> Divine One? What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. <laughs> it is good that we can talk after I spent so long silently watching over you. I know what you mean. I'm really glad to have you at my side supporting me in person.
That's right. So... If I may... Wow! So, about the armor. Take care. <laughs> I thank you. Now about the shop. Do come again. Oh, my. It's like this. Thank you. So... Very nice. What'll it be? How hard do you want to go? Looking good! You've got this! Perfect! You've got this! Looking good! You've got this! Looking good! Looking good! Great 
job! I'm so proud. Let's do this again sometime. So. Very nice. What'll it be? Magnificent! <laughs> 